Well, hello people. Um, no car boots today. Obviously, a lot of people probably haven't gone into car boots because the weather has been really bad. Um, all car boots around my area were cancelled. So I thought I'd do a sit down video with you about something that I'm thinking about doing and I need you to help me on this. So obviously comment down below after you've watched the video. What I'm going to be talking about today is what not and whether I should be doing it is what not worth it. The reason why I see a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon like they did with Poshmark, boasting they're making lots of money and I'm thinking, well, shall I bother or shall I not? The reason why I want to do what not or I'm thinking about it, I'm probably about 50-50 is because I've got a lot of dead stock and I want to get rid of it. I've tried auctions on eBay, which I've sold a few. Also, I've reduced prices, but I've still got a lot of dead stock. And it's mainly clothing, what I bought like six months ago, thinking that it's gonna sell because it's a designer make or a nice piece of clothing, and no. The market is absolutely saturated in Ralph Ren tops, Lacoste tops, Armani stuff and you know unless you've got like the really really top end gear you're not gonna sell it you might be very lucky or you're gonna be selling it for absolute peanuts the reason I want to do it is because I can get rid of a lot of this stuff on an auction on whatnot and that is what whatnot is it's an auction basically you do what I'm doing now but you sell whatever your items are live and people bid on it. So it's very simple to use. You can't sell it any other way. It has to be alive. And I've seen a lot of people who I know and people on YouTube basically flogging absolutely everything on there. And I, I'm, I'm like sort of like, like I said, 50-50. I'm not gonna be one of them people who is gonna be just selling all their stuff because that is just absolute pointless. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna sell stuff on there where I know I can sell it for 50, 60 quid on eBay because I know, and I've seen it many times over the last few weeks that people and whatnot do not make anywhere near the amount what they would do on eBay on other sites. But one thing I do like about whatnot is that I can get rid of a lot of dead stock stuff that maybe I bought for a quid or two quid, and I might be able to sell it for, what, five, 10 quid. So I'll get my money back and make a little bit of profit. Then I can reinvest that money into stuff that I can actually sell on eBay, which is actually good stock. The reason why I'm asking you a lot, because you are my loyal subscribers, and I want to know if you've had any experiences with whatnot. Are you on whatnot? Do you do whatnot? Um, do you just go on there to buy stuff, or do you sell? Or do you do both? And what are your experience? Do you make any money off it? Do you make a good profit? Or do you make no money at all? Or break even or even lose money? If you're like me, I watch a few people on YouTube. I'm not one of the people who watches everybody on YouTube. Especially I don't watch the fake YouTubers that I mentioned ages ago who basically boast about Poshmark and now they're boasting about whatnot like it's the best thing since sliced bread and you can make hundreds and hundreds of pounds. It's absolutely a load of rubbish. I've been researching over the last couple of weeks, seeing people who have got big profiles, small profiles, you know, people that sell certain things, which are like toys and that, compared to people that sell clothing. And I don't see many people making much profit. People selling stuff for like 30, 40 pound, which is brand new, when they could get like 80 pounds on eBay. Why would you do that? And they never tell you the profits. I'm not saying all don't, but some will tell you. People are uh, just happy about making a couple of quid here and there. And other people do never mention it at all. Unless they make so much money, they will boast about it saying, yes, this is my profit. But Nine times out of 10, I don't see that much. So I wanna know if anybody has done what not as a live show. What was the stock you sold? How much did you buy it for? And what was the profit margin after you sold it? How long did it take? Because I seen people 
doing shows for an hour and basically it's taken more than two or three hours to set up and taking pictures so like you would do on ebay because you have to obviously do an auction list um, so people can look what's on your auction for that night or day whenever you do it and it seems a lot of work for no return because obviously like i said they don't make much profit I watch somebody who I follow, he, he's a decent lad and he just wants to make a bit of money. Um, but he's been selling stuff, all random stuff. And he did a video about it um, last week and he did a video about the stock he was buying. He didn't make no money off any of the stuff. And because it's his first week, he basically was lucky to get his money back. Apparently for the first week or so, you don't get much fees. It's just the uh, the card payment um, where you get like a one or 2% fees. But usually it's about 10%, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if he was on it for a long time, he would have lost money on most of these products that he bought. I'm not like that. I would actually buy only stuff that was worth a quid you know stuff that i knew probably can make a tenner and do it that way most of the stuff now as you can see in the picture it's all good designer stuff i've got hugo boss i've got armani i've got lacoste i've got branded sporting goods um i've got a lot of decent stuff um but like i said i'm not a big clothing person i will buy clothes but it's not my passion. Toys are my passion. And I know you can sell toys on there. So I want to know really, because you lot watch me and you know I'm honest and I'm, I don't beat around the bush, is it worth it? Would you watch me if I did one? Um, would you actually want to buy anything from me? And yeah, I'm only going to do this if I get some reaction off this video. Reason being, I've had this stock for a long time and I'm thinking, how am I gonna get rid of it? I'm not gonna do a car boot. I did a couple of videos last year and I absolutely hate car boots. A reseller doing a car boot is the worst possible thing you could ever do because you know how much you bought them for. You get resellers trying to blag you for stuff that you know how much it's worth and I cannot be doing with that plus getting up at like five o'clock in the morning, no chance. The other thing is what I'm planning to do this year is m develop myself more as a proper seller. Last year was just me going and buying stuff, not knowing what I'm doing, you know, for the, especially for the first three or four months. And I'm not like that now. I have made more profit in the last month and a half than I did probably in the first four or five months last year. And the reason being, I'm buying decent stuff now. I'm buying stuff that either sells very quickly, and it might not be worth much, but it sells quickly, or I'm buying decent stuff that I can make probably 30, 40 quid profit. My average profit sales is probably around the 25 to 35 pound mark. And the last couple of weeks, I've been selling over 40 items a week. So I am definitely improving on everything to do with reselling. Um, but like I said, I've got a lot of old stock and I don't wanna just sell it on eBay, hoping somebody buys it, you know, reducing it, thinking I can make maybe a tenner off that, taking off all the fees and just hoping it's gonna go. Yeah, some of it might, but like I said, it'd be better to do an auction, get rid of it all in one go, get a nice lump sum, and then I've got that money to go and like reinvest in some decent stock and yeah, pull it back on eBay. So this is the end of the video. What I need is you, my loyal subscribers, to tell me what I should do. Would you watch me if I did whatnot? Would you think it would be a good idea for me to do what not and also your experience of what not yourself what you think about it if you like it hate it comment down below because i need as much interaction as possible 
on this video. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will let you know what will happen in whatnot if I do it or not.